electric vehicles, battery voltages of 300 to 400 volt are commonly used for traction. But EV manufacturers are shifting towards 800 volt architectures all to help reduce more power. These high voltages cannot run the other electrical loads on vehicles as they require lower voltages. That is when DC-DC converter comes into picture. The loads such as headlights, window motors, pumps require around 12 volt. The main DC-DC converter steps down the battery voltage to 12 volt. It also has to be adjustable as some loads may need outputs in the range of 12.5 to 15.5 volt. In some applications like a hybrid electric vehicle HEV, the DC-DC can be run in reverse to boost the power from a 12 volt to 48 volt to assist in starting vehicle or to provide backup power. This requires the DC-DC converter to have bi-directional capability. DC-DC converter that is responsible for stepping down the input voltage to desired level of output voltage is known as a buck step down converter. In this case, the output voltage is less than input voltage. DC-DC converter that steps up the input voltage to desired level of output voltage is known as a boost step up converter. In this case, the output voltage is greater than the input voltage. A buck boost converter combines the functions of a buck converter used for DC voltage step down and a boost converter used for DC voltage step up. Inside a buck converter is a semiconductor switch that regulates the output, inductor that stores energy in its magnetic field, a capacitor that filters the output and a diode. The buck converter regulates output voltage by rapidly switching the transistor on and off. When the transistor switch is closed, that is on state, input voltage is applied directly across the inductor, inductor current increases and stores energy in its magnetic field. The current flows through the capacitor as well and hence the capacitor stores the charge. The voltage across the capacitor appears across the load. Diode is reverse biased blocking current flow. When the transistor switch is open, off state, the input is disconnected from the circuit and the inductor acts as the energy source. The stored inductor energy is transferred to the load through the capacitor. Diode is forward biased providing a return path. The output voltage is equal to duty cycle multiplied by input voltage. For example, if we are using an input voltage of 48 volt with a duty cycle of 25%, then the output voltage will be equal to 12 volt. When the transistor switch is closed on state, current flows through the inductor and stores energy in its magnetic field. Diode is reverse biased blocking current flow. When the transistor switch is open off state, diode is forward biased, the energy stored in the inductor is released through the capacitor and is dissipated in the load resistance. The flow of current is in the same direction through the load, also steps up the output voltage as the inductor is now also acting as a source in series with the input source. The output voltage is equal to the input voltage divided by 1 minus duty cycle. So if the input voltage is 12 volt and we are using a duty cycle of 75%, so we will get 48 volt as the output. A buck boost converter can be used as a bi-directional converter to step up and step down input as required. DC-DC converters convert electrical power between high and low voltages. They are the points at which the high voltage and low voltage circuits come into close proximity. For safety reasons, Mainly to avoid the dangers of electric shock, fire and smoke, the converters use galvanic isolation with a high frequency transformer. Modern DC-DC converters typically have an efficiency of about 94 to 95%. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to Owlwiz. Also press bell icon to get notified.